I'm Colin Smith from the Research Communications Group at Imperial College London, and I'm talking to Dr. Joanna Morgan from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. Dr. Morgan took part in a study to determine what caused one of the largest extinctions on Earth 65 million years ago, which wiped out the dinosaurs and changed the course of history. Joanna, what caused the dinosaurs to be wiped out? Well, as was suggested first about 30 years ago, um, the most likely explanation is that a very large asteroid hit the Earth and dramatically changed the environment that the dinosaurs lived in. We believe it caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and um, many other animals and plants living at that time. What does the animation show us? The animation shows us how material ejected from the impact site, the Chicxulú crater in Mexico, travelled around the world and managed to form a global layer, global clay layer of um, ejected material. Can you explain what the different colours in the animation tell us? Yes, so you, see, you can see the background colour is blue um, and the vertical axis there is 100 kilometres above the Earth's surface. The blue is telling you the density of the atmosphere, so you can see the atmosphere is getting denser as you get closer to the Earth's surface. And then you see that the ejected particles are arriving at the top of the atmosphere and you're watching how they travel through the atmosphere and then eventually land on the Earth's surface. Um, we chose three different particle sizes, so you'll see the three colours, the yellow is, represents the largest particle and the red the smallest. And you can see that the large, largest particles travel through fairly swiftly, whereas the smaller particles take a long time and um, they're essentially being redistributed by the atmosphere heating up as the ejector is slowed and both the ejector and the atmosphere warm up and then get redistributed hundreds of kilometres away. In fact, some of the particles end up way outside the model. If we could take a satellite image at the time of this impact, what would we see happening to Earth's atmosphere? If we were taking a photograph we were sitting on the satellite, what we would see is the Earth gradually becoming enveloped in a dust cloud and, and that would, it would be absolutely totally enveloped probably by about two hours after the impact. And what would this dust cloud have done to the environment? So the dust cloud and in fact also sulphur being released by the impact from um, sediments at the impact site, they would reflect more solar energy from the upper atmosphere out into space. So what you get in fact is actually the upper atmosphere heating up but you get the, um, the Earth's surface would dramatically cool. So you'd get, you'd, at the Earth's surface you'd see everything get dark and you'd, you'd also get very cold. How did this event change the course of history? Uh, well, prior to this impact, we'd had the age of the dinosaurs for a few hundred million years. So large animals were essentially in charge on land. Um, after the impact, everything um, with a body mass over about 25 kilograms was wiped out. And we saw that smaller animals started to flourish and rats like mammals particularly started to flourish. So it changed the course of evolution and eventually those mammals evolved into humans. 